Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do a quick video on the new shelf that I have and the organization that we have for this new shelf. So I'm going to show this uh, in, I'm just going to do some highlights here of the, of the shelf and how we have it organized. So as you can see, up at the very top we've, we've arranged some box sets and these may change from time to time but for right now these are the box sets that are up here. Again, I'm not going to talk in detail about any of these, but wanted to show that. And we've been arranging them so they kind of fan out at the top with the James Bond set in the middle there. Uh, next is the Criterion Collection movies, and I have these arranged in spine number order. A lot of people have them arranged in different ways, but spine number order is the way I prefer to have these organized. Um, we have moved the the movies that have a slip cover, we've actually turned those around so that it looks a little bit better. So you can see the, the Cassavetti set, the um, uh, three films uh, set uh, to the right of the shelf, which is the Andre Gregory and Wallace Shawn set is uh, turned in. There's some other ones as well that are turned the other way just to make the shelf look a little bit better. Um, moving further down, you see the very end of the where the Criterion Collection ends at this point is with the Bruce Lee set, War of the Worlds, and then I've got two Eclipse sets there. Uh, there's some random movies next to that, including a Superman set, and then we have the Indicator box sets. So those are next, and there is a smaller box set, the Force 10 from Navarone set, which I featured in a video before as well. Um, moving down, we've got a sh small section with some 4Ks. We have more uh, Indicator individual titles, individual titles in the middle uh, part of the shelf, the small Warner Archive section, and then we move into Kino Lorber disc. And you, and you can see that most of those have a black label, but the first three showing there have a white label. Kino Lorber has kind of changed the way they've been doing their labels, but I really like the black label section there. Uh, further down, and I think I mentioned this before when I first introduced the shelf, these are mostly Blu-rays. So you'll see mostly Blu-rays on the shelf. There's a little bit of a comedy section there. There is a, um, one thing I should point out to the right of the shelf, uh, the third shelf up, is a small section that we'd like to re reserve for some seasonal items. So we've got some Halloween movies over there as well. And then you see, again, another two rows of mostly Blu-rays. We've got a Star Wars set. Uh, further down, you can see uh, some of the steel books. And on the last row there, I've got some director sets and some films that I've been interested in. Uh, recently. So again, I just wanted to do this quick video as a as an overview of this new shelf. I'm really loving the new shelf. I'm really loving the organization, but let me know how you organize your shelves as specifically with the Criterion Collection. Do you have a specific way that you like to organize? Is it by spine number? Is it by color? Is it by director? Uh, it would be really great to know in the comments below. I'm going to be doing um, maybe a full collection tour at some point. Um, but uh, I wanted to just do this quick overview uh, as a video. So uh, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, click on like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I really hope everyone is self. I really hope everyone is safe and well. And I'll talk to you soon.